What we are celebrating today is not the beginning of a marriage, but a marriage already in progress. The ceremony is a symbol of how far they have come together and a symbol of the promises that they will continue to make to each other throughout their lives together. Jeff, today we officially become a family and this is a day that we have long awaited. Over the last four and a half years, you've shown me what a great love looks like. Every morning I wake up and fall more in love with you. I love the pure joy in your laughter. I love the way you light up when teaching somebody about your interests. I love your focus and passion when you're cooking. And I love the deep care you show for our friends and for our cats. <laughs> I love your heart for adventure and new things, even if we can't always make the plans happen. I love you for all that you are, madly and deeply. You've shown me that I am loved through the best and worst circumstances and versions of myself all the while helping me to become the finest version of me that I could be. You've inspired, encouraged, and empowered me to grow and reach my dreams even when I thought I had nothing left to give. And I hope to do the same for you throughout life's ups and downs. As a family, I hope for us to continue growing as individuals and most importantly, together. As your wife, I promise to love you with all the same determination and confidence that you've given me. I vow to take care of you to the best of my abilities. I promise to prioritize you as much as myself, and I promise not to leave your side for more than a week ever again. <laughs> okay. I pledge to do my best to use coasters and to be your sous chef in the kitchen. I vow to help you achieve all of your dreams, regardless of the challenges and obstacles that will come up along the way. But most of all, I promise to be your best friend, to be kind, patient, and forgiving, and to help you build the most incredible life. I love you. I can't wait for all of the adventures and blessings to come. Elizabeth, when we first met at Bar Bellevue Park almost five years ago, I knew that you were wife material. That's what I told all of my friends. Wife material to me meant that you would be somebody worth coming home to every day. And these five years proved it. I realized throughout the years that I enjoyed doing everything better with you and I wanted to be with you as your husband. I didn't write that, but I guess I'll say very early on. Between our engagement and now, I had a lot of time to ponder what marriage means and what our lives would look like after today. We've already done so much together, semicolon. We've started a family of cats, planned out our lives together, traveled together, had dozens of home cooked meals together, and had hundreds of late night phone calls. I find it so sweet when in the middle of all of these activities you sporadically turn to me and ask, are you my best friend? <laughs> and I always answer in the affirmative. I love you because you support me in everything I do and to be the best that I can be. And you always catch me if I fall. So in writing these vows, I've decided to wrap my theme around that, that I will be the, all caps, best loving husband until the end of time. I will take you to be my loving wife and to be by your side through thick and thin. My promise to you is that I will be your best friend, meaning I'll be there for you too. I will help you get through tough times I will support you and your hard decisions. I will help you reach things on the top shelves. I will comfort you when you feel down. And most importantly, I will share everything in my own life with you. Elizabeth, I love you. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Do you, Elizabeth Ann, take Jeffrey Alexander to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times, in bad times, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Jeffrey Alexander, take Elizabeth Ann to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and bad times, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Jeffrey Alexander, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. It is now my honor and delight to, to declare you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. Get it.
I know that you've heard it before, but a good marriage takes work, and I hope that you have patience and kindness and respect for each other as you work as a team for the benefit of your marriage and for each other. And I hope that you would continue with honest and respectful communication. I will continue to pray for you both, hoping that God draws you to Him in times of joy and times of challenge. And may you be blessed with a forever joyful marriage. I love you so much. If you, Elizabeth, can finish grad school, put on a wedding like this, you will take care of our son. So thank you. <laughs> if we can uh, untie the knot and let him let him free. <laughs> we did that a while ago, but yeah. well, we kind of did, but we feel more comfortable now because <laughs> here's to here's, here's to love. To the, Wolf has been, I think, anything any of us could ever have asked for for Elizabeth. Elizabeth is the rock in our friend group. She's the one who somehow wrangles all of us who always forget to text each other back. Thank you for putting up with all the shenanigans of our friend group. And to quote Elizabeth, I think we'll keep you. <laughs> I know I speak for everybody here when I say you guys are an amazing fit for each other. Um, and that you two are truly dedicated to another. other. You put in a lot of work and effort to really foster this relationship and build it into what it is, and I'm very excited to see where it goes. So, here's to Jeff and Elizabeth, and here's to love, dedication, and compassion for everybody. Thank you all, thank you so much. Back when we were in middle and high school, you and I shared a common dream to marry Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> who we both loved. But since you're marrying Jeff, I think my chances have gone slightly up, so thank you. <laughs> you're a sister to me as well as a best friend. I love you so much, and I'm so happy that you have found someone who loves you and admires you as much as I do and so many people in this room do. Right off the bat, I knew that Elizabeth would be a forever sort of friend. I also quickly saw that Elizabeth has a superpower. She deeply loves people wherever they are at leading those of us who are lucky enough to be loved by her to understand ourselves as worthy, special, and wanted. And I'm so endlessly thankful to stand here today as she marries a man who pours that exact same love into her as she pours into so many others.